y'all. It's J Mother F and Bands or Jasmine, depending on what y'all want to call me. As you guys can see from today's title, I'm about to be doing a little. I don't know if y'all want to call it like a nursing school vlog because technically my semester is over with, so I'm not really in school. Like it's not my first semester or nothing like that. But um, but yeah. So as y'all can see from the title, I'm basically about to be filming a little nursing supply school haul in a sense. Um, and it's really based on the things that I used in my semester that I feel like made my semester very easy for me. Um, so this semester was an all AV semester for me, fortunately. Because, you know, I implemented a couple of new study habits and study tips and stuff like that that I'll share with y'all. But um, this semester went really, really well. So I was just kind of like, why not get on here and show y'all some of the things that I feel like made a nursing school doable for me so this semester i took med surge pharmacology patho um concepts and health assessment i did really good in all those classes all a's and b's i'm hoping that this is probably my most difficult semester because it's kind of my most content heavy semester without further ado we could just get right into it um my first thing that i want to show y'all is of course my stanley cup um i got this stanley um on christmas it's like a blush pink type of situation and then I have my cover for my straw which is literally like a little scrub um a scrub top so I thought that was really really cute but um, I got my little straw covers from Amazon um as y'all can see here let me get a little closer so I can show y'all a little close up but I got my straw covers from Amazon um I gave one of them to my little sister but she ended up losing them losing it but one of them is like a little first aid kit and then the other one is a little heart <clears throat> is a heart with a little stethoscope in it originally this had like four of them in here but again I gave one to my little sister and she went around and lost it so yeah but it was the ugly one anyway don't tell her I said that but it was the ugly one so secondly I'm gonna get into some electronic devices that I feel like genuinely helped me in nursing school now when it comes to this nursing school hall I don't think that anything that I got is particularly like very very expensive like some of them you know might be a little bit pricey and I'm not saying that you need to buy these things to be successful if you want to look cute and you know you might be on a low budget or you know whatever the case may be I think that what I have in my hall is pretty affordable also, before I even move on to the next thing, if y'all have not already liked the video and subscribed, please make sure that you do so and join the family to this little bell. Tap that like button and tap the little subscribe button and or I'm going to whip your ass. Thank you. So my first electronic device that I want to get into is my iPad. My iPad has 100% been a lifesaver to me. Um, I got this little case from Amazon. It's kind of dirty right now, so don't look at it too close, but my iPad and my Apple Pencil is literally what I use to take notes in school. I remember I first started off by using a notebook, which I still have a notebook and a binder that I use to store documents and just write down things really quickly if I don't have my iPad on me or if I'm in the hospital, I don't usually carry around my iPad with me because I just don't. But um, my iPad is literally a lifesaver. Get a little cute picture of me on the lock screen. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the app that I use to take notes because I use a free, a free app there is a paid version of the app, but I use the free version because um, it's just like that. You know what I'm saying? But I have a little school folder, um, which has just the things that I use for school. Um, so the one that I use to take the one that I use to take my notes on is I use Colon Note. Um, so Colon Note it has like a free version and it has a paid version, but I use the free version because it does like it does everything that I need to do basically. But, um, for example, I'll go into my pharmacology folder, right? In my pharmacology folder, I have, like, um, the PowerPoint saved. And then I usually take notes on my PowerPoints. Let me, let me use Patho for an example because I think I have more shit in Patho. But this is my Patho folder. I have all my PowerPoints and stuff saved in there. If we go to, like, different PowerPoints, like I have my PowerPoint about shock you scroll down and you see like I highlighted different things and I take notes on my PowerPoint just to make sure that I'm emphasizing some of the things that she emphasizes in class for my next electronic device I of course have my MacBook um, again you don't need to get a MacBook but I feel like every college student needs a computer so I got this MacBook in like 2019 so I've had this MacBook since I was in like probably like my probably like my senior year of high school but um 
yeah, so I've had this since 2019. This is the 2017 version. And then I just have this um, Technic, Tech, Technet mouse that my dad got me from Amazon. I think it was probably like $12, $14 or whatever. In pink, of course, because bad bitches were pink. I have the MacBook Air. It still runs fairly decently. Um, but yeah, you don't need like a super expensive um, computer or anything. Me and this computer have been rocking for years now. This is probably like the first paycheck that I make as a nurse is probably going to be me getting another MacBook. But yeah, you don't need a super expensive computer, but just get a computer and make sure that it's durable. Because, um, you know, my MacBook ain't give them yet. So, yeah. Get you one of these. The next thing that I feel like everybody needs to make an investment in is a nice sturdy backpack. Um, you don't want a backpack that's going to have your back hurt and if you have to wear it for an hour or two or that sags and it's super low on your back and touching your booty crack. You know, you don't want that. You want a book bag that's nice and sturdy. Um, my book bag kind of dirty right now, so don't, 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 don't do too much, okay? But, um, so yeah, this is the, no the book bag that I have. It's just the North Face. Um, I got like a little spine on here or whatever. It has, it's really spacey, has plenty of pockets, um, and yeah, it's really, really sturdy. You got like the little buckles right here, so you could snap it on you real quick if you need to put it on and go somewhere. I don't know, a little hiking trip or whatever, Hike, hiking trip or whatever. But yeah, so invest in a good book bag because you don't want just any book bag that's just going to have your back hurt. Invest in something good. The thing that I have is, of course, my clinical bag. Um, I got this clinical bag from AB America um, on Amazon. Um, and in the pocket right here, I literally just have a little lotion because as a nursing student, you about to be so like you're constantly washing your hands you're constantly sanitizing your hands like I'm, I promise you that your hands are gonna be dry as a month okay so just having one of these lotions in your backpack and your clinical bag because your hands are gonna be super dry and if you can't stand the feeling of dry skin and dry hands like me you definitely need to invest in one of those but with this bag it's really really spacious um has like plenty of pockets on the inside I got like little hearts on the inside of it um I got this little thing of tape there um then i have my clip for when i gotta, I gotta clip my hair up um and yeah it has like little pockets six pockets on the side you have like pockets right here to carry your water bottles or whatever and then i also ended up adding this little strap um so that you could wear it on your shoulder or you could put it over your shoulder and make it like a little satchel type bag um this didn't come on the bag, but I got this from my old dance bag when I used to, from when I used to dance. So I just kind of clipped it on there, and it kind of worked. And they actually ended up sending me two of these hoes. I don't know why, but they ended up sending me two of them. So it just says, like, stylish, practical. Um, so, yeah, it's from AB America. Um, and it's a really good company. The bag is really, really sturdy. I haven't even had to open the second one. But, yeah. So get you one of these because, for sure, you need a nice sturdy clinical bag. And also, I don't like to use my school bag as my clinical bag because I don't like to bring my stuff in the hospital and then have to bring it to school. And it's just a lot of cross-contamination and shit. So, yeah, I just have two separate bags for two separate occasions. You know what I'm saying? And then the next thing that I have is my lunchbox. Um, this is from Fulton Bag Co. I got this from Tarjay. Um, again, it's just a little small lunchbox because, honestly... On the rare occasions that I do bring food to the hospital, whenever my friend is in my ear like, you want to go get something to eat? I'll be like, hell yeah, and we go get something to eat. So, honestly, what I bring in here, I usually just bring like little snacks or something. Or like, if there's something that can fit in here, I put it in here. But I just got this from Target for like $10. It was like the cheapest one they had, because I don't even really bring a lunch like that. But it just has the bottom pocket right here, and it has like this little flap right here for the top compartment. I'll be putting like cold stuff, like fruits and stuff in here. But yeah. So, it's just a little lunchbox or whatever. And then you can, like, clip it right here so you can clip it onto your clinical bag or your backpack or whatever. But, yeah. need a little lunchbox. Because you don't need to eat out every single day. That's me talking to myself. You don't need to do that, Jasmine. No. The next thing that I have for stuff that goes inside of my bag is I have this little pencil case. I got this from Walmart, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it literally just has, like, all my pens and pencils and highlighters and stuff like that. I like really colorful stuff because I like to take my notes in color. I think I'm a visual learner, so it just kind of helps me remember shit better. But yeah, I got this from Walmart and I'm also pretty sure that this was like a makeup bag, but 
I feel like the pencil bags were too small, so I just ended up getting this one, and it fits everything perfectly. So, yeah, and it's cute. I like, for my, for the stuff that I have, I usually like to get things in either black or pink, because I just like black and pink. My favorite color is red, but I like black and pink stuff, so I just feel like, you know, it was sturdy. And I literally got this, I want to say I got this like two years ago. I think I got this in like 2022. So, yeah. Get you one of these as well to keep your stuff in. Because you don't want to just throw it into your bag. You don't want to just throw your pens and pencils. Because they're going to get lost and shit. And hell no. Nah. And then, for more things that are, of course, going in the bag, I just have my um, notebook. Like I said, I do take most of my notes on my iPad. But it's always clutch to have a little notebook. So I just have this little one subject notebook that I got from Walmart. Um, in pink, of course. Um, just to jot down little things and stuff like that. But, yeah. I still think that everybody needs a little notebook. Even if you got an iPad, I think just get a little notebook. They're cheap, so why not? I also have, um, my binder that I use for class. Um, on the front, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I just kind of have different lab, um, different laboratory values. Um, like I have, like, the LDL count and HDL count that's appropriate for men and women. Male and women, male and female, whatever. You know the hell I'm talking about. And I got, you know, obviously normal blood pressure, normal white blood and red blood cell count, hematocrit, hemoglobin, platelet count, um, APTT time or proper clotting time. Um, I have different lab values like the proper um, levels of potassium, sodium, chloride, magnesium in the body, um, serum digoxin level, blood urea, blood urea, nitrogen for the kidneys. So just like different... Um, like, I got the arterial blood gases on here. Just so, so that, like, if I forget, I can just look down and, you know, remember real quick. And then on the inside, I just have, like, either, like, classwork that I had to print out and hand in myself. Like, I got um, my ticket to classes. I have my ATR remediations in here. Some of them. I got my arterial blood gas charts and stuff like that. And then on the first page, I literally just have, like, we did this on, like, the first day of class. It was, like just a um a recap on the blood flow through the heart because that's something that you learn at AMP. so we just did a little review on that here i got my common medication prefixes for um pharmacology just to remember certain medications and stuff like that and then i would do like my drug medication charts on this page and on these pages just to help me remember um different medicines and then I have like med dose calculation practice. So it's really not from just like one class, but it's just like a collective of stuff from all my classes that, you know, I feel like I got the gist of more by actually writing them down as opposed to writing on my iPad or nothing at all. So now, I don't think I also covered also with the iPad. So I have my um, Apple Pencil for my iPad. Um, it's actually in the case right now, but of course, they have, like, dupes and everything on Amazon. You don't necessarily have to get, like, the Apple Pencil. I asked my dad for it, and my dad got it for me, so it was just kind of, you know, clutch right there. I didn't have to spend the money myself. But um, they got, like, a bunch of dupes and stuff on Amazon. But if you need to write on your iPad, you definitely are going to need a pencil of some sort. It don't got to be the Apple one, but Amazon got a bunch of dupes and stuff on there. So another thing that I actually ended up having to get for my concepts class this also is not like mandatory or anything but this is called think like a nurse um, it's the Caputi method for learning clinical judgment it also it covers like the nursing model it's by Linda Caputi um, I got this on Amazon um, so again it literally just goes over the nursing process um, it's not mandatory but it's just like it got a bunch of little information that you could use that you use way beyond um, just nursing school. It has like the Caputi clin clinical judgment method, which is like getting the information, making meaning of it, analyzing, um, determining like steps to take, and then it has like ADPI, where you have like assessing diagnosis, implementation, and evaluation of the outcomes and stuff like that. Like it's it's honestly the book is really really helpful. Um, again, it's not something that you need for nursing school, but if you just want to, if this isn't required for your class, you know you don't got to get it, but. I think that it's a really good book and it's really helpful so do what you want to do with that information this next thing that I have is something that I feel like everybody needs to make an investment for again I got this on Amazon I want to say it was probably around like 35 or 40 dollars um, it's a nurse's pocket guide so it basically has diagnoses um, interventions rationales it helps you come up with your Nandas so like say for example if somebody has like 
meningitis, you know, then you could come to a section that's talking about meningitis and say, you know, what they're at risk for, if they're at risk for um, infection, then it gives you what it could be evidenced by, you know, like the evidence that can conclude that this might be the issue that they're at risk for, um, risk for falls, if, you know, they just had some type of surgery or anything like that, and then it gives you um, a bunch of nursing priorities, interventions, um, nursing diagnoses. Um, I hope I'm using that word. Is it diagnosis? I think it's diagnosis, but related factors. Um, it gives you like proper documentation and it's just like a really, really helpful book. And I think that if it's not required, it should be required because this is definitely something that I think every single nursing student needs to get one of these. And it also helps you with your care plans because every nursing student, for the most part, we have to do care plans. This right here, I'm not going to say it's a cheat code because we had to get this for our nursing plans, but it's like a cheat code for your nursing plans. It basically does it for you. As long as you know what the patient is at risk for and you have some evidence to back that up, then this entire book got you covered. But I 100% recommend getting one of these. It definitely doesn't have to be this one in particular because there's a bunch of different versions, but this is the one I got because it was pink and it was cute and bad bitches love pink. And then for the next thing, I use this for clinicals. This is just a little notebook that I use. Um, so... A lot of people have the foldable clipboard, and I think that the foldable clipboard is actually really useful. Remember that for clinicals, we had like a little clinical groups, and somebody in my clinical group, she actually had the foldable clipboard, and it seemed really, really useful. But in my opinion, I think I'm just going to end up sticking to my little mini notebook because it was just more convenient. I could just slip it in my pocket real quick. Um, so essentially, you just, in my notebook for my care plans, I would just kind of write down like, you know, their vitals. Um, if they had like an IV, like where it was located, um, what was infusing in the IV, the different types of medications they were taking, if they had a specific type of diet, if they had any allergies, if they had any bruising on their skin or, you know, just doing like a little head to toe assessment when I would do my assessments, um, if they were do not resuscitate or um, no interventions or anything like that, I would just kind of write it down in here. Um, of course, like any medication that I would administer and, you know, just their basic head to toe, if they were um, awake, alert, and oriented, um, skin was intact, if they were disoriented, just like different little things um, that I would put in here to help complete my care plans. And it was really, really convenient. So I think that I'm just going to end up sticking with my little mini notebook. But when it comes to clinicals, you definitely are going to need something to write on. So I think that it's a good little investment. I got this at Walmart. Super cheap. But um, yeah. The thing that I got is, of course, my little watch because at my nursing school they say, oh, you're not allowed to have an Apple Watch, da 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 da. But honestly, I always had my Apple Watch on. They didn't really give a fuck. But when it came to like having to check manual blood pressure or checking for respirations and stuff like that, and you don't want to keep like looking up at the clock on the wall because it's not on your watch. Because your watch, if you have an Apple Watch, you know it turns off. Like it doesn't stay on consistently. So you need to see the little, like the little ticking of the the clock to ensure that it's working properly. But yeah, so I just got this from Target. Um, I don't know, I think it was like $15 or whatever. But yeah, I just got one of these. For the next things that I got, I got these two bad drills. I ended up getting these at orientation. Um, but I know that you can find them on Amazon. I don't use this one as often because it's kind of heavy. So it will kind of like weigh down my shirt and it will just like peel back or whatever. But it's really, really cute. It's just a little gray flower. And then this is the one that I use consistently. I mean, I probably always see this in my vlogs. But I just have my like actual school ID card on top of this. But it's just a little heart with a little smiley face. She got her lashes on this shit. It's really cute. On this side, it just converts pounds to kilograms. On this side, it converts inches to centimeters for the height. And it just says student nurse with the little pink thing right here. Really cute, really cute, really cute. You, you definitely need to have a badge reel though. Because you got to put your ID on either your shirt or your waist or whatever. So that they know who the fuck you is and why you in the hospital. Next, I have these Blu-ray light glasses. Um, they don't help you see better or anything, but especially for when I'm studying. Um, I actually had a collab with this brand called These. So the glasses are called These. Essentially, like when I'm looking at a screen for hours and hours at a time, because I'll be studying for like eight, nine hours at a time. I have one of these so that, um, these, these, so that I don't end up getting headaches. So these are really just my studying glasses. Um, they don't got no prescription in them, so don't, you know, but yeah, they just help, um, you not get headaches and migraines and stuff like that. And then the next thing, I think that everybody needs to have a little keychain with some, um, hand sanitizer on it, because again, as nursing students, 
you just get really conscious about the things that you touch in. like you constantly touching elevator buttons and door handles and stuff like that and it's just a lot of germs everywhere I don't recommend using this in the hospital because in the hospital of course you have to foam in and out before you enter a patient's room you exit a patient's room you go to the back you know it's like you're constantly putting hand sanitizer on your hands and you don't really want hand sanitizer that smells like anything because you don't want to bother the patients if they you know got something respiratory going on but um, mainly when I'm at school I always got this on my keychain um, because you're going to convince yourself that you have all different types of sicknesses when you're in nursing school. Like, I convinced myself I had rheumatoid arthritis, that, look, listen, why I convinced myself that, I don't even know. Just get you some hand sanitizer and keep it on your keychain or whatever, in your car, wherever. And then next, a little calculator. Um, so originally I had, like, the scientific calculator, but I ended up giving it to my cousin because she's in high school, and, of course, like, they got to do, I guess, more... I don't I don't know different types of math a calculator mainly because you know in nursing school you have to do um, med doses calculations test every single semester until you graduate so this is just a texting instrument um, TI 30x something like that but I've literally had this since I was in high school and you just need one of these a lot of the times like your med dose calculations test will usually be on paper so you need to bring your own but if it's online they usually have a little calculator on the screen but for the most part you get you need a calculator so then next, I just have my little stethoscope case. I got this from Amazon, in pink, of course. Um, so as you open it, you know, it has a little pocket right here that I use to keep my pens right here. And then I also end up keeping my pen light. Um, so on this pen light, again, you can get these on Amazon. Um, you have, like, the different pupil sizes so that you can make sure that when you're um, doing your assessments on your patient, patient, that their eyes are equal, round, and reactive to light. So you just shine it in their eyes like that. And you check the little size on the side of the pen to make sure that it's um, within normal limits. Um, so I keep this in my stethoscope case, of course. And then, my stethoscope. Um, when it comes to stethoscopes, you don't have to invest in something that's super, super expensive. However, you do need to remember that you're going to be using your stethoscope after you graduate, when you actually become a nurse. So I do recommend getting a stethoscope that is durable. It doesn't have to be a Litman. This is the Litman um, SE, lightweight or whatever. I got this for Christmas. Um, I think that when I'm, I graduate, I'm probably going to get the, like, the new one that's, like, pink because I'm just a pink girl. But it works absolutely amazing. This is the dual head one, of course, um, which I think a lot of nursing schools do require you to have a dual head because it has a diaphragm and the bell. And, you know, the bell allows you to listen to bruise and, like, low-pitched sounds like heart murmurs and stuff like that. So you need to be able to switch it back and forth so that you can check on both sides, especially when you're doing your head-to-toe assessments. Um... So yeah, I do recommend investing in a good stethoscope. It does not have to be a Litman. There are great quality stethoscopes that um, are not as pricey as Litman's. So you don't need to get a Litman, but I love my Litman, and I'm always be team Litman. So it is what it is. I got my blood pressure cuff. Um, blood pressure cuffs, of course, we only really use these when we were in lab because when you're in the hospital, of course, they take your vitals on a... Um, a machine so you just kind of hook the patient up to the machine and it shows up on a little screen but when it comes to taking manual blood pressure um, you need to get one of these so yeah I got this from CVS I want to say it was probably like $20 but um, <clears throat> it's, it's a really good great quality one and I don't think blood pressure cuffs are generally very expensive anyways so yeah and then moving on to clothing items I have my two scrub caps. Y'all probably always see me wear this scrub cap in my in my um my vlogs and everything. This is just like a halfway scrub cap, so it just covers like half my head. Like if I got a wig on and I don't really feel like doing my edges or whatever or whatever the case is. So it's just like this. Um, I got both of them from Amazon, so I'll put the links down below in the description box. But you just tie it back here in a little back or whatever, and yeah, super cute. And then this is kind of like my chef hat or my bonnet my bonnet type scrub cap and it covers like your whole head so if you got like braids or you got like a long wig or whatever and you just want to protect all of it you can just put this all in there and tie it up in the back or whatever and then it also has these buttons on the side so that you can put your mask over it so that the mask isn't like hurting the back of your ears if you know if you got to wear a mask for like 12 hours like they be hurt they, they be hurting so i just got the little buttons on the side so that you can Put your mask on it, and you don't got to worry about having to keep that on your face all day because them bitches hurt. Well, I have my scrub top. Um, I got these scrub tops from Tarjay. 
or Target, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got this in a size small. I just wear these underneath my scrubs because it'd be cold in the hospital. Like, even when it's hot outside, it's just cold as hell in the hospital. And I actually think that these are actually, like, pajama tops. But they're from the band, brand, the, the band, okay. They're from the brand Warm, Warm Essentials by Cuddle Duds. Um, so, yeah. They got them in different colors, too. So, I have to get them to match my scrubs, which is, like, a navy, like a dark navy blue color. So, yeah. They're super stretchy, and they're warm, and they look cute. So, next, I just got my little chef's jacket. Um, it's essentially a warm-up jacket. I usually wear this in lab. I don't really wear this at the hospital, but, um, it's just like a little button-up that keeps you warm. I got my school logo on this sleeve, which... I'm not about to just put it on camera, but if y'all know where I go to school, I don't really give a fuck. But I got this in a size small too, but it's big as hell. But you know, in nursing school, they don't want nothing to be form fitting. They want everybody to look like a bum. So, and next, I got my little um, BBL jacket. Um, I always wear this jacket. This is my favorite jacket in the whole world. I got this from Target for like thirty dollars, and it's from um, All in Motion. Uh, I got it in an extra small, and I feel like every nursing school, every nursing student got to have their, like, jacket. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people have the little, the expensive, um, what are them jackets called? Paranoia, Paragno Paragnia, however you say the brand. Like, some, everybody has their special jacket, and it has, like, inner pockets and outer pockets. It's just a really great quality jacket, and it's warm, and it's stretchy, and it makes your waist look, like, snatched, so. Of course. Next thing that I think everybody needs to make an investment for is compression socks. I got a pack of these for Walmart for like $15, I believe. Nursing will quickly teach you that compression socks are super, super important. You know, when it comes to putting pressure on your calves so that that blood is circulating back to your heart so it can go back around to the rest of the body. Um, when you start working in clinicals, you'll notice that like when you have clients that are in bed rest and or they just had surgery or whatever, they'll have the SCDs on their legs so that the blood is being properly pumped back to the rest of their body so they don't develop like a clot or a DVT in their thigh or their calf um, and you know that that blood clot might become dislodged and go up to their their lungs and that just ends all bad so having a good pair of compression socks um, again you can get a pack of them from Walmart is a great great investment and I think that everybody needs to make the investment because it's very important to have some pressure on your calves if you are walking around and standing up for 8-12 hours. You definitely need to get your pair of these. So then next, um, when it comes to nursing school, I think most nursing schools work through ATI. Um, so they just gave us like a box full of textbooks for every class that we're going to take or that we've taken. And it's basically just NCLEX prep material. It's a bunch of information that's essentially just preparing, preparing you to take the NCLEX. So you know you have your online version, you have your book version, and a lot of people don't like to read textbooks, but honestly when it comes to ATI, if you have to take ATI tests during nursing school, just reading the PowerPoints and the information that you have in class, like ATI is going to whip your ass. I'm going to be I'm gonna be so transparent with you. It's going to whip your ass. But these books will literally save your life. Okay, it has like med surge books. Um community nursing, nutrition for nursing, nursing leadership and management, mental health, it has like stuff for mother, baby, like it's just women's health, it's just everything that you need is essentially in these books. So it's definitely, you don't have to buy these yourself, I'm pretty sure you get them through your school, but I just wanted to say, if your school does give you these books, use them to your advantage for sure. And the next stuff that I have, um, pertains to this fat ass whiteboard that I got. When it comes to me and my whiteboard, me and my whiteboard, we have a love affair that cannot be explained. Y'all don't even understand. And then I have my bin here that has all my expo markers and my spray to, you know, wipe my, clean my whiteboard off, my little eraser. Um, but yeah, so when it comes to me and my whiteboard, I do, um, active recall. So I'll write down all the things that I know on the whiteboard for a certain section and then I'll go back to like the PowerPoint or the notes or whatever. And then whatever I don't get right, I'll write in red. So I know that whatever is in red, I need to focus on more and I need to make sure that I know what's in red because it's stuff that I forgot, obviously. So, um, I'm a visual learner, so I like to th see things that are like laid out in front of me and just be able to process everything as I see it. So I definitely do recommend investing in a nice big whiteboard. My mom got me this whiteboard. Um, I don't know where she got it from. I think she got it from like, I don't even know. 
but you can find a big whiteboard on Amazon or whatever. I have two whiteboards. I got one on my wall and I have one um, right here. So I use this one to study and the one on my wall I just use to write um, little things that I'll forget or things that I need to remember and you know, stuff like that. So I definitely do recommend making the investment and in getting you a nice little whiteboard, especially if you're a visual learner like me, because that is definitely how I remembered all those drugs in pharmacology and remember the processes of different diseases and pathology and pathophysiology so I definitely do recommend getting a whiteboard for sure but yeah so that kind of brings me to the conclusion of this video um if you did like this video please make sure that you like comment and subscribe um and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one oh. double for real I'm gonna see y'all